Tom Morrill, Theodos Morrill, known as Tom Morrill, 1 August 1915, 10 March 1944, was a career military officer and French resistance fighter, a student, then instructor, at the St. Cyr Military Academy, he fought for the French army against the Italians in the Alps. After the fall of France, he led the Maquis desk leers, organizing attacks and parachute drops, and was the recipient of multiple military awards, including the Croix de Guerre. He was killed in action at the end of a successful commando raid. He is memorialized at St. Cyr and by the French scouting movement. Youth and Military Career Morel was born into a family of the Lyon bourgeoisie. His father was the son of a Lyon silk industrialist, and his mother was from a family of Savoy jurists and soldiers. He was well schooled by the Lyon Jesuits, where he was a scout to France and patrol leader first Lyon, extern at St. Joseph, and moved towards a military career. At the Versailles Private School of St. Genevieve, took the trial for the St. Cyr Military Academy in which he enrolled in 1935 promotion 1935 minus 1937 Merchel Lyotty. On finishing in 1935 he was appointed sub-lieutenant and chose to be assigned to the 27th Battalion de Chasseurs Alpins of Annecy. He then took high altitude training at Chamonix and became leader of the section declarers Skiers SES, which he turned into a first-class fighting force. In November 1938, he married a woman from Annecy, Marie Germain Lamy. In May 1939, the 27th BCA was stationed on the Italian border with Morel's SES just above Val Dizer. In September 1939, while his battalion left for the Eastern Front, the section commanded by Morel, who had been promoted to lieutenant, remained guarding the Italian border. After the Italians entered the war on 12 June 1940, he distinguished himself in the Battle of the Alps, decisively exploiting the success of one of his patrols to take five prisoners and seize important supplies. He was decorated with the Croix de Guerre and obtained his first citation. Injured on June 18, he remained at the head of his section. On 20 and 22 June, he fought near the Petit Saint Bernard, call where his action forced the Italian troops to withdraw. He received a second citation then was made knight of the Chevalier de la Légion de Honor. He was still only 24 years old. Morel then served in the army of the armistice at Annecy under Commandant Valet Doja and participated in the sequestering of weapons and supplies. In 1941 he was appointed instructor at St. Cyr, which had moved to aix en Provence in the Zone Libre. Here, he quietly encouraged his pupils to join the French resistance. Resistance and the Gliers Plateau After the invasion of the Zone Libre by the Germans in November 1942, Tom Morrill went underground and joined the resistance in Hot Savoy, where he found his old commander, Valet Doja, organizer and head of the army. He signed up, along with Valet Doja's old adjutant, Captain Morrison Jot, to organize the AS, whose numbers were multiplying, after the February 1943 initiation of the STO, the scheme of obligatory labor in Germany. In September 1943, Valet Doja was arrested by the Germans who had recently replaced the Italians in occupying Savo. Valet Doja's successor was Captain Henry Romans Petit, organizer and head of the AS in AIM. Romans Petit appointed moral head of the Maquis in the department and gave him the task of organizing the receipt of Allied parachute drops on the Gliers Plateau. On 31 January 1944, Morrill occupied the plateau with 120 Maquisards. By the end of February, he had approximately 300 men under his orders, whom he organized into three companies. Morrill was distinguished by his talent as a leader and trainer of these men who had come from varied geographical, social, and political backgrounds. He took up the doctrine of lie free or die and disciplined his battalion to turn it into unified and effective force in the fight for liberation. In February and March, numerous clashes occurred with the group Mobile de Reserve GMR and with the Millis of the Vichy regime who were surrounding the plateau. On 2 March, Moore decided on commando operation against the Beausedger Hotel at St. Jean, 
to sixth where the GMR were stationed. Thirty of them were taken prisoner. They had to provide currency in exchange for Mitchell Fournier, medical student and auxiliary doctor for the Maquis, who had been arrested at Le Grand Bornin several days earlier. The prisoners were free, but, in spite of the agreement on the honor of the Annecy police intendant, Fournier was not released. Thereafter, the Maquis benefited from the arrival of 120 fighters from Chable and Jiffer. Morrill decided to lead another operation, more significant and hazardous, against the staff of the GMR, Aquitaine, in Intramont at the foot of the Gleers Plateau. Curret, officer of the peace and interim commandant of the GMR, had not performed his duties regarding the resistance, and his superior, Commandant Lefebvre, who had arrived on 7 March, refused to speak to the Maquis. Over 100 men took part in the operation on the night of March 9-10. One of the groups, commanded directly by Morrill, succeeded in taking the Hotel de France where the GMR staff was based. The Maquisards disarmed their prisoners, but Lefebvre pulled out a concealed gun and fired on Morrill at close range, shooting him directly in the heart. Morrill collapsed dead. Lefebvre was killed immediately. Morrill's body was brought up to the plateau where he was buried on 13 March after a moving religious ceremony. On 2 May his body was brought down to the valley, and he remains buried today in the Mort Military Cemetery, now the Gleers in Hot Savo National Necropolis. Posterity On 5 November 1944, General Charles de Gaulle awarded Morrill the posthumous title of Quai de la Liberation. The citation was as follows. Yeah. Already made a knight of the Legion de Honor at the age of 24 for having captured an Italian company on the Alpine Front in June 1940. As an instructor at St. Cyr in 1942, he pointed his pupils towards the resistance and threw himself body and soul into the struggle against the invader, acting in turn as an acquirer of supplies, information agent and propagandist. Unmasked by the enemy, he launched himself with immense faith into the Savoy Maquis. Unarmed, he attacked a German officer in single combat and rendered him powerless. After becoming head of the Gleers Battalion, he was the soul of the resistance on the plateau, its leader and organizer. On 9 March 1944, having taken the village of Entremont by assault, he was casually assassinated during a negotiation which he had asked from his conquered foes in order to spare the pointless shedding of French blood. He will remain an incarnation of French patriotism in the epic of the resistance, and one of the most prestigious martyrs of Savoy. Martyrs of Savoy. The Savoy. 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 Martyrs of Savoy. 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 Digis Martyrs of Savoy. The 174th promotion from the St. Cyr Academy was named Lieutenant Tom Morrill in his honor. Morrill's personality was summarized by Pierre Galliot in the book Gleer's Hot Savoy Premier Battle de la Resistance 31 Janvier 26 Mars 1944 by Galliot, Pierre, Helfgott, Julian at Louis Jordan 1946. From where did this force come to him? Without doubt from his natural energy which was striking from his intrepid and fiery character. But it was also with an ideal of generosity and sacrifice, which was the conscious and desired fruit of his faith. Pray, he said to the priest, who was his confidant, that I will keep to the end in the midst of difficulties just as among the happiness and joys of family, this soul which rejects mediocrity, and which always wants to raise itself into nobility. From one end of his soldier's life to the other, Tom will have been born by this wish, which is the wish of true heroism. In October 1995, the new dormitory of the St. Cyr Military Academy was named the Tom Wall Building. The barracks of the 27 BCA carries the name of Tom Wall. Tom Wall is the father of Admiral Philip Wall D. 22 June 2010, who was president of the Association of Families, of the Compagnons de la Liberation and Vice President of the Association des Gleers. Tom Morrill's widow, Marie Germain Morrill Lamy, died 14 November 2010. Both one of the rover crews of Paris of the UX and the second troop of the movement des Scouts 
Unitaires de France Saint-Cloud Group France, Haupts de Saint-Bears Morel's name.